Back in here with another reaction to One Piece episode number three. Last episode, we saw that they got the map to the Grand Line. They beat Buggy. That was an insane scene. I loved it. They actually really brought out the goofiness, like I was saying before. Actually, really enjoying this live action. What we did see last was that Nami made a secret call saying that she has the map. So let's see what's going on in this episode. This is episode number three. Let's just jump straight into it. The pirates are coming! The pirates are coming! That almost looks a little bit like Usopp. <laughs> oh no, that looks like Usopp. Oh wait, that was a young Usopp. The thing is, Usopp is such a liar, you know? The great Captain Usopp will protect. It is Uso. Obviously, it's different to see because, you know, in the anime, he's got the long... Oh, that's... Oh, there we go. You see it right there. He's got the long Pinocchio nose because he's a liar. Captain Uso. So that he's essentially... I remember the first time watching it, I thought, hey, what, Nami? I remember the first time watching it, I said he was a... He's like the boy who cried wolf in the village. Oh, wow. That's unique. <laughs> That's one way of saying that it sucks. Oh. The comms are broken. It's kind of hilarious because it's a sea snail, right? You think that it could survive underwater, but it's technically it's a cell phone or a phone. Gop. Oh yeah, so in the last episode, we saw that he gathered those marines and he said that they're gonna go after the straw hats. This dude can't even tie a knot, but he was acting like he was so tough. Ship life must be tough, though. Let's be honest. Oh, is, is that sabotage from Kobe? Or is, is he fixing it? Just trying to show me up. Which one of you secured this rigging? He did, sir. True. Good job. <laughs> if I not, son, why don't you come with me? Leave all this drilling to the raw recruits. Son, what's about me? Oh my goodness. But that's what I was saying. Like, your hands, the calluses on your hands from the ropes. Oh, there's Buggy. I can't remember the arc right now. I think it was just before, just after Tris Rossa in the anime. And Luffy had a similar um, shirt on. A lot's also coming back to me. Oh, they're actually gonna show Buggy. So they're actually gonna keep him in the show like that. Oh, is he still finding his limbs or something? What? Looks like someone from Fishman Isle. Oh, all along. Wow. Because they've got the, um, the martial arts, like the fishman martial arts or something. A lot of palm strikes. You want to steal a ship? It is interesting because, you know, she, Nami, will just steal one, right? But she's the, the same person who's against, like, the pirate life. So it's kind of interesting how Luffy is literally the opposite of that. Oh, wow. Uh, is that Mary? <laughs> Something's gonna stop him, probably. But if I remember correctly, they have to go. Anyways, I don't want to give any spoilers, but... Because it belongs to that other chick. Well, I guess it couldn't hurt to say hello. Obviously, the cat burglars right back at it. I vaguely remember this game, but like I said, it's been years. But I know there's that guy, he's the... He kind of looks like Michael Jackson. I remember thinking that when I first watched it. He's got like the glasses and he's always doing that. And he comes walking down the path from like down there somewhere. And I think he actually has like almost like Edward Scissorhand shears and that's what he fights with but he's like a cat type of guy because I remember Usopp would always talk to her in the tree when they were kids growing up. Such a wonderful surprise. Oh yeah, she's sick or something. Yeah, there's Oh yeah, you you'd go like that. You mustn't show up on and they actually did it in here. It's pretty cool. The set is absolutely beautiful. You will bathe and change before dinner. 
Like, that's the thing. When when last would you actually have a shower or something? Being on the ocean. You're in the baking sun all day, sweaty. And then, like, you're on the water for weeks. Unless you throw a bucket over and you wash yourself like that. <laughs> Oh, wow. Kai, you okay? <laughs> Damn, <laughs> the, the Gatorade. <laughs> I don't know, I, always I thought her room was upstairs. That's why I was saying he would he would go up into the tree and talk to her like that through the window. It's obviously an unpopular opinion, but, you know, even still to this day, I'm not a big fan of Usopp. You know, the lies, you know, I just can't stand the lies. Holy smokes. What do you think? You look like Nami. <laughs> <laughs> you want a bet? What are the terms? Well, she doesn't I give it to you, steal it. To get this right shit. And when you can't, we go with your plan. Oh, let's go. Are you turning this out? The tea is very interesting. <laughs> I don't remember. This is just a thought that I'm having. Isn't it like the tea that's making her sick or something? Their bites are not just dead. <laughs> it's all. Why is it all blue? Do you want to poison yourself? Wait. So I was. I was right about that. Oh wow, that literally, that did look like mold. Like that thing was never cleaned. It's hilarious. Like imagine someone watching this for the first time, but never watching One Piece before. They would be, honestly, they would be confused. You just keep getting in your own way. That's the interesting thing, you know, because he's always wanted to be a Marine, right? And so he's... That's all he's thought about. And now he's actually being mentored by General Garp. And like, Luffy's wearing black as well. Reminds me of that one time I slayed a dragon, cooked it over an open flame, ate the whole thing myself. Sure, Uso. May I present this guy? Completely sick. <laughs> and she's playing it really well. You know, it's giving that murder mystery vibes. But once again, I have to say, the set, all the attention to detail is so good. But she has prepared your special suit. Blue is so unappetizing. Get down from there at once. Get down from there at once. I should have known Usa would bring riffraff to our doorstep. Riffraff. I mean, like they say, What's things that? in the what? wild are always like bright colors, right? Poisonous, you know, like frogs and stuff, poisonous spiders and how the food literally looks. I want those pirates found. Yes, sir. Not you. <laughs> You're trying to give me fright. You see how they've given the top of his lip here, that cleft, to look like a sheep? Pretty good. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Right through the chest. <laughs> That's hilarious. Is this the best way to ask for an autograph? Fans have gotten so toxic. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, Arlong is when it wants to talk to him. I want to see how his face looks. Oh wow, man, they've got the makeup is crazy on Arlong. So that's the thing that I was saying. You see, they made Arlong's nose like that so that's why you know they just left Usopp's normal although it's kind of just like Arlong is actually you know like a shark and Usopp is just a normal person and the long nose just actually represents the lies that he tells like Pinocchio 
Time to steal. <laughs> Claire, are you okay? <laughs> Damn, the pupils are dilated. That's the thing. In when I watch the show One Piece, it always makes me so hungry, you know? So that's why I'm always like trying to eat. And now I'm feeling that exact same thing. Oh, I forgot about. It looks so unappetizing. Oh my goodness, Luffy. Ah, it looks so disgusting. Blue drink, Gatorade drink, it's like bubblegum flavored soup. What a mistake. I mean, oh, okay, look it. He does, he can move fast like that. So he's dangerous himself. But Zoro, come on. Captain of the Black Cat Pirates. Black Cat. See, I remembered something about the cat. Oh. What about yourself? Let him say whatever he wants. No one believes him, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> that must be so crazy, you know? It's constantly being poisoned bit by bit by bit. And you think you're just sick the whole time. And that's like the Luffy effect, right? Everybody who joins him, they start slowly changing and becoming like him. That's why he's the pirate leader. Oh my goodness, just straight down the well. But I mean, you've, you've hit him with a bottle over the head, so you've knocked him out. But does that really mean that he's dead? I would think that Claude would like stab him or something. Wouldn't at that point they just run him out of the town? You're a crazy person. Obviously now he's telling the truth, but you know, the boy who cried wolf. But still, you're just loud in the town and you're the only one who's doing it. Oh, I believe you. Wait, that's the end of it. Wow. Okay, crazy. That was that was um sort of a, a cliffhanger because I thought there was gonna be a little bit more, but wow, that got me very excited for the next episode. Really good episode as well. Really amazing job with the decor and everything. And there's a lot of these little details that they're adding in that I just really enjoy at this point. So it's gonna be interesting to see because at this point I, I don't even really remember what happened. I, obviously I know the full scope of what happened, but the the finer details with the Marie being there and I mean which is obviously this is what happens in the show right there's always the Marines just behind every time they do something the Marines are right behind them but all in all great episode we already start to see how people are shifting over and changing you see Nami who's known as a thief putting the things back you know Zoro who is always just caught up in his own way is also opening up a little bit now we see the introduction of Uso who like I said I don't like him in the show he just annoys me because he's a liar but in this in the live action he he seems a little bit more palpable if you will but anyways that's gonna be it for me i'm really amped for episode four and i'll check you then thanks for watching i'm out peace